times with somebody. It goes out to Bob Agen, 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 again, Mr. Biagi. Ugh. All right, let's do it. Standard tuning. Love this song, by the way. Brian Adams is a great songwriter. <laughs> over it on the bass. Never mind. Everything's some type of musical thing around here. So, anyways, <clears throat> really nice chords too, by the way. I'm going to give you the basic concept because it's not a set. Here's the one time through strum, strum pattern, exactly the same every time. There's little embellishments. That's part of being a guitar player and having that freedom. So I'm gonna, I got to give you something to follow. And we're going to uh, take the first one that he does. 3A, third finger, 3D, pinky. Open G, barred first fret on the B and E. So we have three, zero, open, one, one. That third finger, mute string six. You want it deadened. You're not gonna hear that, but you will hear it. It'll sound horrible. So make sure you're muting. Um, that's the chord. We're gonna end up moving it a whole step sharp and then back, but here's what we got. You're gonna go down, up. And then from some fret hand muting, which is tricky if you haven't done it. So we have the down, up, and then to, for fret hand muting, I'm just going to relieve the pressure, angle it down to, to compensate for the, the open G. My thumb's muting the E, which I'm probably not going to strum most of the time anyways when I fret hand mute, but it's, it's that sound. So down, up, mute, and then down, up, chord. So you're going, and then do that twice. And then throw it down, up, mute at the end. We're gonna have, I'm gonna have you do that same strumming over the next chord, which is like I said earlier, we move it a whole step to five, five, open, three, three. Okay, and just do the same thing. I'm going to end it with the fret hand down up, by the way, on both of them. Never mind. A little ADD moment. Sorry there. Again. So you can see we went like this three times. there that's all Ricky, Ricky. all right so then we go into a minor 
open A, 2D, 2G, 1B, and open high E, and we're going to strum strings 5 through 1. Okay, um, the first time through, that's it, and then you'll go back to the... time it's and you'll hear this natural harmonic on fret 12 on the D and then it sounds like on an acoustic interesting I could be wrong on this but like this would be electric and then the acoustic goes after that but you know unless you got an acoustic neck hooked up just do this 12 D natural harmonic light pressure above this the 12th fret bar don't push down it's called a natural harmonic not a pinch harmonic, it's a different, whole different ball game. And then do it, do it again, but this time do it as a bar over 12 D, G, and B. So it's, and then that takes us right back. Alright, so anyways, that's the main hook, right? And then the chorus comes up. Like a chorus, of course, always does. And we're gonna do this. It's G, A. Now it's A minor implied, but I'm not hearing the the C in it. And I watched some live stuff, and you just jump into that. It looks like. So we're gonna go down, 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 down. The G major is um three two. Um, we'll do this one. Open, open, open three. You might be more familiar with that one. And I think that's the one they were using. Not a huge deal either way. There's a four finger version and a three that I'm talking about. Down, 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 up. Into the A major. Open A. Bar the second fret on the D and G. Thumb mute the low E. And curve this out to where the B and the E are muted. Just in case you hit it, right? Do the same strum. So we have... called a C add 9, which looks like a G major. It's um, 3A, 2D, open G, 3B, 3E. Middle finger, I'm muting underneath the low E. Because if I hit it, one, one bad note will make the whole chord sound bad. Uh, this time go 1, 2, 3, 4. It's four down strums. Into D major. Now you have one of the fingers down for the D major, and that's this one. Um, if you've been playing a while, you probably already know that. If not, it might be easier just to lift it off and reset. But eventually, you'll probably end up doing it like this. So 3B, 2E, 2G, thumb mutes the low E, and you can hit everything if you mute that low E. So, um, and actually, it'll be two downs on that. So from the A, it's, or from the C at nine. Try it again. Matter of fact, coming off that D to start it over now, which is what we're going to do, go down up. So. Fourth time. One. Or actually, you'll just go. And you won't have to do the down up. They're ending the chorus on the fourth time through. One time through means G, A, C add nine, and D. You're doing that four times. What I'm saying is the end of the fourth one just. That leads you right back into. All right. So, there you go. Brian Adams with somebody. And this somebody. Happens to be Bob Agin. I do not know how to pronounce it. You hit me up. And uh, I was like, you know, I don't know why I ended up picking yours, but I did. My email, rockinguitarlessons at hotmail.com. That's the best way to reach me. Um, remember, as far as, let me back up a second. As far as this lesson goes, break things down because if your chords are not changing fast enough, um, this part's not going to matter so much, right? So the goal is to get yourself to where the, you know you can go, boom, just like that from one chord to the next. 
Once that happens, you start focusing on paying more attention to this hand and then bringing the two together. Um, another option, you know, if, if it's tough for you is to go like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That would be called whole notes. You just hit in one chord per measure. There's always ways to approach it and you gotta get creative sometimes. So think of subgrouping as well. I don't have my glasses. That's what looks different about me. Where are they? Dang it. Anyways, if you're interested in some private lessons I teach around the world on Skype, um, Skype name Rock and Guitar Lessons, add me only if you plan on becoming one of my students. That all my Skype uh, friends are actual students of mine, and that's just, uh, just how I do it. We work on any and everything. Most of my students on Skype were working on songs, breaking them down, fine-tuning, and trying to get every single note the right way. Focusing in on a, little, on a lot of things that gets overlooked sometimes by guitar teachers. Actually, a lot of times by guitar teachers. Um, and I would know. I've been teaching since 1992, and I have teachers all in other rooms. And, you know, as a teacher, you learn as you go. But um, I feel like if you're going to learn something, let's explain the little things, too. Okay? Um, yeah. So if you're interested, I have tutorials on this channel. You can find them at rockandguitarists.com. You can find them in the description below with price breakdowns, or you can email me. Basically, they're hour and half hour lessons once a week or bi-weekly. Um, and I also offer what's called CVT lessons and CT lessons. A CT lesson is basically taking a lesson with me without actually seeing me. I do all the work behind the scenes um, <coughs> with whatever it is you want me to do. And um, handwrite tabs, fingerings, pick directions, all the techniques used in the song or in the index. They're all handwritten, like I said, subgroups so you can match it up. If you're like, ah, oh, where is this part? I have stuff time stamped on there so you can, you know, pull up the video. And I put the uploader's name so, you know, you know. Um, scan the tabs, send them to your email. CVT is the same thing but has a video. If you're interested, just like with the Skype lessons, you can find tutorials all over my channel um, and the website as well. So, until next time, I'm Mike Gross. Be sure to subscribe, guys, if you're going to make requests especially. But it's subscribe anyways. Why wouldn't you? Why? Bruh. If I had this back in the 80s, I'd be subscribing. We didn't have this. We had Circus Magazine, we had Hip Parade, we had Starlicks, and um, Doug Mark's Metal Method. We had a few things, but it, man, can you imagine? It's good and bad. I got a theory about it, I'll tell you sometime down the road. All right, guys, subscribe, share, and request. That's it. See ya. Facebook.com slash Rock and Guitar Lessons. Go ahead and add me, guys. Yeah.